What is going on guys, it's Eagleman here. Welcome back to another Topps Bunt video. Hey there, this is uh, Eagleman Trading Cards coming at you with a quick little announcement. Just wanna let you know before the video starts that I was an idiot today and I forgot to start the microphone as the recording was also starting. Camera was rolling, the screen recording of the game was rolling. However, this microphone was not rolling until about the very, very late, I don't know, last quarter of the video, I realized that I was an idiot and I turned on the microphone. So please excuse the poor audio quality of myself talking into the game. Uh, that one camera did pick up my audio, so you'll get to hear my commentary at the least. It won't be the fresh commentary that you're probably used to, so my apologies. But the microphone audio will be back, and it will be back for future videos. So stay tuned. Enjoy the video. Today we're going to be opening up the new Bowman Sterling Series 1 packs. This is exciting to me. New product out. We're back doing some bunt videos. Bowman Sterling here. Look at the odds. We get five cards per pack, 5,000 coins per pack, so pretty expensive. One in three for an uncommon, so we're not guaranteed an uncommon. In each pack, it's one in eight for a rare, one in sixty for a super, one in three hundred for an iconic. We're gonna be opening up a lot of packs today, at least a hundred. We might be even going beyond that because I really want to pull a couple supers here just to see what they look like. They should be pretty sick. So here we go. It says stay tuned for series two here. There's probably a, this is probably series one. I don't know. Enough of the chatting. Here we go. First pack of the day. So nothing in that first pack, but I'm just gonna be highlighting basically just the rares. Maybe like a couple of the first uncommons, but any supers or iconics we get, let's take a look at them. So we just pulled one of the uncommons. I skipped over it because it doesn't show it in the bottom bar there. I don't know who it was. This was the Acuna. This is Acuna's brother, I think. Not too sure. You can correct me on that one. That's what the base, I love the backs. That looks pretty sick. So the, the base is just a black parallel, I guess, or the, uh, it's black, black base, black focused, I suppose. And yep, there, oh, we just got a duplicate right there. We just got the exact same card. Nothing else is in here though. So we got the duplicates. If you guys see any cards that you like in here, any of the duplicate cards, any of the cards in this break or in my collection, you can hit me up with the trade. My my username on the app is 2020 Eagleman. Hit me up with the trade. A lot of you guys have still been trading with me, which is pretty awesome. You guys are just absolutely incredible in the app. It's a lot of fun talking with you guys. So you, again, username 2020 Eagleman will be on the screen somewhere. Hit me up on the app. I'd love to chat with you guys. So the base set is 49 cards. It's kind of a lot. I don't think we'll come close. I think uh, my predictions will probably get to around 30 base cards that we'll pull today out of the 100 plus, probably do like 120 or 140 packs like we did last time. Ooh, we got a rare in here though, maybe. Yes, Rodolfo Castro, that's a blue. But yeah, that's pretty sick. These packs are, uh, let's see, they're, they're limited to like a million, I believe. Yeah, one million standard packs will be available for purchase. So we're meaning our 631,000. So we got here pretty early in the recording session. Actually, today is the day I posted that T206 video that I just recently recorded and, and uploaded. So today was the upload date of that video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Pulled a lot of super rares in that one. But today I saw that Bowman Sterling was released. So I'm like, what the heck? Let's get after it. Let's open up some Sterling. Oh my gosh, what do we got here? Is this another blue? Pedro Pineda blue. All right, I like it. Yeah, so that's a rare for us. Second rare of the video. Rare in here. Here we go. Colton Kowser. It's another blue for us. Third rare of the video. I'm hoping that we get at least 15. It doesn't show as a new card on there. That's really interesting. Normally it shows like the new cards, like what, how many you have completed with the set. But we pulled a couple, obviously. Yeah, blue base rare. We pulled three and we pulled four black bases. So that's kind of interesting that it doesn't show up. Maybe it's just still new. Maybe it's a little glitch that I just forgot to patch, whatever. But I'm hoping to pull at least 15 rares in today's video. Oh, we got another one right there. What did we get? James Wood for the Padres there. So a lot of prospects in here too, which is pretty fun. Yeah, I'm hoping to pull at least 15 rares, maybe like two or three super rares. That'd be awesome if we can hit two super rares in one video. I don't know. I mean, we'll have a one in three, at a minimum one in three shot to get an iconic. Not sure if we'll be able to get one. We did not get one last time. We put up at least a 50% chance to get it. We did not get it, unfortunately. But we'll have a good good try here. We got another one there. Vital Bruhan rookie card there. That's our fifth for the base. I think some of the rare cards are autographs. I, I briefly checked the checklist. And okay, that wasn't on the base. I thought it looked a little different there. Yeah, I briefly checked the checklist. It looks like some of the base cards or some of the rare cards can be autographs which is, would be awesome. I'd love to pull like some sort of prospect autograph out of here. So far, we've just gotten the blue base, which, which would be a lot of fun to complete. I think you can get a Julio Rodriguez award if you complete the set. I'll double check that again. But Julio Rodriguez might be the chase card if you complete these sets, which would be awesome. Oh, there we go! Armando Cruz autograph. That's the, yep, that would be a rare for us. That's just a black autograph there. Very nice, we'll take it. Okay, so that one shows up. Black Prospect Signature Autograph, one out of 10. 
pretty cool. So those are rares. I think the blue autographs might be super rares, I'm just guessing. As we get a Seth Beer uncommon base card. That puts us at 9, I think? 11. Wow, I'm way off in counting. 11 out of 49. We just pulled the O'Neill Cruz as I was drinking water. The O'Neill Cruz wiki card. That'd be awesome. Is this what actually Sterling looks like in real life? I did not see the release of Sterling this year, like the physical cards. I did not do any research on that. But if that's what it is, if, that, if that's what they actually look like, they look pretty sweet. So comment down below, are you guys opening up Roman Sterling this year, either on the digital packs or in like the physical packs? If you are, let me know what you guys pull. If you pull anything like super cool, any cool super rares, iconics, or if you, in real life, if you pull like some low numbered stuff, or some pretty sweet autographs. Let me know. I'm really curious to see how well you guys do. Comment down below what you guys get. Oh, we got a rare in here. Here we go. Okay, that's a duplicate. That's a duplicate rare. Colton Kowser once again. Another blue rare. I don't remember how many rares that's like four or five now, I think. I guess not bad. I, oh, we get another rare. We're back to back rares here. Joe Ryan base rare for us. That's another blue. I'm looking for more autographs, so I think the autographs are a little cooler. But we'll take the blue base. Man, we're going back to back. That's not a rare though, but we get the, the base uncommon there. How many uncommons is that now? 18, okay, that's a lot more than I thought. 18 isn't bad, again, I don't think we'll come close. I think we'll get at least 30 though. So not a lot to write home about right now. I mean, things are, whoa, we'll just move the camera there. My apologies if you got a little seasick there. Yeah, not a lot to write home about. I mean, we're not doing super well. It seems like I have, I've only pulled like a handful of rares, a couple uncommons here and there, but you know, the dry runs are gonna be dry runs. We'll get those every now and then, but you're expecting at least a rare or two every now and then, but it just seems like the rares are showing up in bunches now, which is not great. Got another base card there though, Rodolfo Castro. I think we got the rare version of that. So is that 20 now? Yeah, 20 for the base, which is good. Hoping for at least 10 more, that'd be great. Just nothing, just absolute nothing right now. Scorched earth on me right now. We come, can we get something in these packs? I've opened at least 20. <laughs> I don't know how many I've opened here. And we've just gotten a couple on commons, but like no, at least a rare, like you would think the odds would be. There we go, Henry Davis Blue. Finally, we get a rare, my goodness. That's kind of interesting that it's taken this long to get a rare, my goodness though. We also had an uncommon card in there, but it didn't load up properly, but we're getting a rare here. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Is that, that's not a legendary, is it? What is this? I think that's just a super though, right? Base green, super rare blue rookie signature. O'Neal Cruz of all things. That's so sick. Wow, out of, uh, there's uh, only five of those. You can get Brian De La Cruz, Bobby Witt, Alejo Lopez, Cal Raleigh, and this sick O'Neal Cruz. Check that out. Dude, imagine getting that in real life. I could not imagine. Okay. All right, I'll take back the scorched earth comments, all the, you know, the foo-foo comments I was making about this product. Maybe it's not so bad. That's our first super rare of the day. Let's keep it going though. Let's keep this goodness rolling. Let's keep the good luck rolling. I think we're about halfway done. How many say it? I had 1.9 million coins to start with. We're at 1.5 now. I was going to go at least, we're gonna go half a million, so at least to 1.4. So we have about at least 20 packs left. See if we can get something going here. Oh, we got a rare here, Matt Verling. That's another rare for us. Here we go. We feel the heat coming on us. We feel the heat going. Didn't say how many we had because for some reason that doesn't load up, but that's all right. Let's keep it rolling. Let's see, let's see if we can get something else here. Oh, there we go. Betty Montgomery soon after another rare for us. That's an autograph now. Very nice. That's the third autograph of the video. Second rare autograph. In addition to that super rare O'Neill Cruz, we got another base card there. I don't think that was a new one. Oh, another rare. Oh my goodness, Romy Gonzalez. I want to see how many we have now for the blue base because it's not loading up at the end there. We have eight. Eight blue base. That's our tenth rare. Maybe another one because we might have duplicated some of the rares. Yes, we did. The Colton Kowser we duplicated, so that's technically our eleventh rare. Okay. Okay, eleven rares. Okay. I'll take that. That's not bad. Another one, right, right as we're talking about rares, a Wilman Diaz prospect autograph. Okay, here we go. Now we're starting to feel it a little bit. Another rare in here, here we go. Jay Allen for the blue base. And we get an uncommon card there, so that's our 26th uncommon. 26 now, I'll take it, not bad. So I did see the coins are at 1.4 million. Let's see, we'll finish that pack out there. We're at 1.4 million, I wanna keep going. Let's open up another, I don't know, 20 or 30 more packs or so. Let's just keep this one rolling for us. Oh, here we go, got a rare in here. We got Benny Montgomery, that's a duplicate auto. 
And we get another Acuna for the base card there. So lots of duplicates coming in. These are good cards to trade away. In addition to trading, guys, you have been trading with me a lot and I love it. I try to accept as many trades as I can that are pretty reasonable. So if you see any cards that you like in this video or in my collection, just hit me up with the trade. Say something cool and I'll probably accept it. Whatever cards you're interested in, whatever cards you want, just let it fly. I'll try and get that to you. Also, on that note of giving cards away, I am interested in doing a giveaway soon on this app. As you can see, I, I showed my collection in the past. Actually, in the last video, I showed a little bit of my collection. I have lots of Iconics and lots of Super Rares that I kind of just want to give away to people. I kind of just want to feed them out and just give them away to someone who would be really interested in having them. So comment below what kind of giveaway would you be interested in seeing? Would you want to see me give away a ton of Iconics all at once or just a ton of Super Rares or like PC players? I don't really know, but uh, just comment below what you'd be interested in. In the future, maybe I'm planning on doing like a pretty cool a giveaway soon on this app which would be a lot of fun i think it'd be great to see you guys uh try and work for that as we get a henry mendez blue base for us it's another blue base i think we still got some work to do with the blue base but that's okay but yeah stay tuned giveaway coming soon oh my gosh what do we get here is it a super wow i got a mouthful of water there christian hernandez that's a sick card look at that thing wow check this out that's a good looking baseball card right there I think that's just a super because it had the sound effect and whatnot. So we got red, then we got, yep, blue sterling. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Bowman sterling, we got the, the autograph. Let's just go back to the set here. Let's just see what it exactly was. Yep, blue sterling signage super rare. That's kind of sick. Look at the names you got in here. Acuna, Freeman, Yelich. And we got Christian Hernandez. You could get a Mike Trout if you complete that set. Wow, is that a pretty one? Very cool. So yeah, nice. That's our second super rare of the video we're just chipping away at it let's see if we can open up a handful of more packs here maybe pull a couple more rares maybe you would know the super fingers crossed the iconic comes its way oh my gosh another one armando cruz soon after another super rare at us is that a that's a blue signature yes it is blue prospect super boom that's our third super of the video boy we are super rare magnet in these past two episodes We've just been pulling them left and right. So there we go. Now that the microphone is actually on, let me check there. Yep, I had, for some reason, the microphone wasn't even on the whole time. So I apologize if that audio was a bit, uh, just a bit janky or a little off for you. But here we go. We're going to heat up a little bit as the microphone is on now. We can get some uh, decent audio feedback from maybe a third or four, excuse me, four, four super rares now. Yeah, no, we have three. We're going to try and pull a fourth here. Oh, we got a rare in here though. Okay, Helio Ramos, that's a blue base for us. We'll take it and an uncommon. So that's our 30th uncommon. I said we were going to get 30. We did get 30. I'm happy with that. We only got 19 more to go. Easy to trade up to. We got a couple uncommons, or excuse me, duplicate uncommons that we can use. So we're really going the extra mile here. We're opening up quite a bit of packs here. We've got about 600,000 coins of packs as we've, we've burned through here. We've gotten three super rares, which is actually just about the odds if we really think about it. So we're meeting the odds with the supers. Hoping to get, I don't know, we're about 50% chance for the Iconic at this point with opening up this many packs. So it doesn't look like, I don't know, it, may, it might happen. But I'm going to go until my coin says 1.2 million. And we'll just kind of cut it off there. And then, of course, we'll do the recap at the end. Oh, got a rare in here. Here we go. Trey Sweeney Blue. So that's another Blue Force and another base. So how many bases is that? That's 36. Wow, we're only 13 away to complete that. But that was another Blue. And we actually just reached 1.2 million coins there for us so we've tapped into a lot of coins here actually i checked out the diamond packs down here to see if they were worth it 700 diamonds i don't have that many diamonds yet unfortunately so it doesn't look like we'll get there let's dive into the recap now let's go ahead and take a look at it now that i think about it we're at the recap portion of the video here i is this the first time bunt has released uh bowman sterling because i'm looking at my collection here and there's no like this is filtered on every single card i own i these are the only Bowman Sterling cards that I own. They're from this year. And typically I have some cards from each set that are released. So I don't know. Is this the first time Bun has done this? I might be wrong. Who knows? But I've certainly never opened open Bun on my channel before. This is the first time. But here we go. We finished with quite a bit of the base cards there. We'll be able to trade up and, and get rid of some of the duplicates to try and complete that set. Bunch of rares here too. Got lots of good autographs. Lots of good rookies. Lots of good parallels, good prospect stuff there. You like to see it. That's a lot of rares there. But the talk of the day are these super rares. Let's start with this Hernandez, Christian Hernandez. Yeah, that's a sweet one. I really like the design of those ones. Those are cool. Global count 621, global count 620 for the Armando Cruz Blue Auto. 
The big one though, the kahuna that we got in this video was this O'Neill Cruz. Check this one out. I mean, it's just a sick card. Imagine, imagine pulling this card in real life. Like that's just beautiful. O'Neill Cruz, rookie auto. It's the blue one from Sterling. Great stuff there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Tops, Bunt, Bowman, Sterling. Had a lot of fun with it. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Comment below what your thoughts are of the video. Comment below what cards you have pulled from Bowman Sterling this year, whether it's digital or physical. I would love to hear what you guys are pulling out there. Comment below your Bunt username. Let me try and contact you and send you some cards. I'm going to send a random fan who comments their username down below. Some cards, whoever comments below, I think that would be awesome. Also, comment below. Lots of commenting going on in this video. Comment below a giveaway idea for all my Iconics and Superiors. We're just trying to hand them out to some people. So enough of that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more to come. This has been Eagle Man, and I'll see you guys next time.